what just happened? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing Christmas meal planning, Christmas food chat. One of my favorite things of the entire year is Christmas food. And I'm gonna take you through all of the things that we've been doing over the last few months to prepare for Christmas food incoming. I'm so excited. We're also gonna chat through some menu planning. I'm gonna look through some ideas with you guys. There's Maggie jingling away. Uh, so yeah, grab yourself something nice to drink. I'm gonna get myself a cup of something. In fact, let me see what is on my tea calendar today. I think it's a sick. Oh, I'm gonna go with this one. Pucker, the three ginger. My friend's got me this for my birthday. And my other friend, as you might have seen, also got me a tea advent calendar for my birthday. You guys know I love a tea of the day. I'd love to have you here in this community. If you haven't subscribed already, I've shared loads of Christmas planning videos. In the new year, we're gonna be stripping it back. We're gonna be doing lots of money saving, budgeting, getting set for the year ahead, setting intentions and goals and all of that good stuff, as well as lots of homey vlogs here in our new home. And I'd love to have you here in this community. So do subscribe if you're new. I'm Lara and I hope that you enjoy this video. Anyway, grab yourself a cuppa, get cozy and let's get into the video. Okay, in true Lara style, my tripod is in the office and Stuart is working, I can't go in there. So, we're gonna use my Brita water jug, which by the way, I still absolutely love, use every single day. Um, I'll work out a position, uh, but hopefully that's a nice little cozy background. I've got my, oh, I haven't put my tree on. My homemade little tree. I mean, I didn't make the actual tree, I just made what's on it. The actual tree is from Tesco and it was only seven pound. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that, it lights up. Made these, made all these little bauble things. Not these actually. It's half, it's half a lie, it's half a story guys. I don't know if that's worth, if I'm honest, wasting the batteries if you can't see it. I think I'm gonna save the batteries, con conserve the power. Um, so yeah, let's just leave that off. Got my candles on the go. But oh, you can't even see those either. Might as well turn those off. There you go, they're off as well. <laughs> you can see the tree, it's festive. At this point, my brain has left the building. But I'm excited for this video because this is Christmas menu planning. So I'm gonna be talking through some of the things that we love to buy. It's very dark. Some of the things that we have been buying for our Christmas food box. Now, obviously things are so much tighter this year and who knows when this is gonna calm down a little bit and things will become less tight. But for us, we love Christmas. That's like our, the food around Christmas is one of the biggest things for us. Obviously giving for the children as well and seeing their little faces light up and get the things that they've asked for is just so magical. But for the grown ups, I would actually rather good food and wine than any presents because I don't need the things. I really love the experience of Christmas and that is just being with people. Like I said, we've been buying this thing, these things for the last, I would say three months. You know what Stuart's like with his mince pies? We've been buying these things for ages and we just put them in the cupboard and that's how we spread the cost. So every food shop will buy either a bottle of wine and put it away or we'll buy a box of mince pies and Stuart will eat them. No, we'll buy something that's gonna go towards Christmas food box just to spread the cost. So if you don't have sinking funds or anything like that, and there's a whole video on sinking funds and I might do one in the new year because Maggie is jingling around because we haven't actually done that recently on this channel, but we put sinking funds in place to pay for things like Christmas. So throughout the year, we'll put money towards it. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is this is just for inspiration. So I don't want anyone coming away from this thinking they haven't got as much as what we've saved. We are just really mad into Christmas food. <laughs> and yeah, for us, it's just such a huge part and we would forego presents for each other to get some nice food. So let's show you, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you about meal planning first and get some of my uh, recipe books, some of my favorite recipe cards down. And we're gonna talk through some of the things that we're gonna have over the Christmas period. And then I'll show you the food that we have collected over the last few months and the wine. And yeah, just talk through a little bit of our Christmassy plan. I haven't even made my tea yet, let me go and do that. So I had to make some room. Georgie and I did these yesterday like we used to do when he was a baby. His hand takes up half the page now, it's huge. 
Bless him, he wanted to make that one for his nanny. And then that was uh, Lara's art of work of art. And then his foot, I mean his foot is like the entire page at this point. Um, but yeah, so I just tidy these away. So I've got out my bits and bobs that I want to look through today. So she always gets me one of these for my birthday, which has just been, so that's always a nice one to look through. It's got some nice menu ideas as well as festive ideas. And then this one's probably last year's, is it? Maybe the year before. I basically keep them, oh, Christmas 2019, it's quite a while ago. I keep them and then it's nice to refer back to. I've got my trusty old recipe books, which are so old now. These ones, oh, this one is actually a new one and I haven't made anything out of this one yet. So I think this is, for me, veg is one of just the absolute best parts about the Christmas dinner. I know not everyone will agree with that, but I thought he might have some nice ideas. I'm gonna look through that one. That's a favorite, done a whole video on that one. And then my Hello Fresh recipe cards as well. You guys know we absolutely love Hello Fresh. This part of the video is actually sponsored by them. So thank you so much to them. I always collect their cards and then refer back to them when I want to make something yummy. This is what we had last night. Let me tell you, incredible. So good. Hello, Maggie. So yes, we'll be looking through some of those and I've got a really, really good offer for you guys as well. So I will share some more info down in the description bar for you. But all of this combined, I'm gonna get an amazing plan together for the sorts of things that we're gonna cook on the lead up to and of course on the day as well. So let's get some pen and paper situation on the go and then we can make some plans. I've got Maggie one of these little stick things. She absolutely loves them. Love you. I've got a little snack on the go. So if you have one. There we go. Right, take it away with you then. <laughs> right, so, oh no, now the sun's come out and ruined it all for everybody. <laughs> Probably can't see me now. Is this going to cause a problem? It's been raining for a week. And the one day I sit down here to film a video, it's gonna be in my eyes. take you over to the sofa because it is too sunny which is lovely but ah that's better you can see me now so I'm looking through the HelloFresh menus for the next couple of weeks because this is going to help me with my menu planning I love HelloFresh you know we have used them for years we are customers and I love that I can give you guys an offer to try them if you want to especially this time of year it's really good for meal planning because it just takes that thing off of your plate excuse the pun because it's just one less thing to think about when it comes to sort of like the lead up meals and they have just got so much choice. So there's rapid recipes, so if you're in a hurry, loads of their recipes are oven free as well, which for me is a game changer because it's so expensive to run the oven at the moment. They also have a Christmas food box, which looks amazing, and that is everything you should need for your Christmas meal. So that's a really nice one to choose as well to use with my discount it's just so convenient as well because if we're rushing around we haven't got time to sort of meal plan for the week we know that we've got a box coming or if we are away we can just pause it it's really really easy to change your subscription there's no like you don't have to get it if you're not around you just skip your week and for me because it's zero waste as well it's a great way of making sure we're not wasting money because we're not wasting food so yeah i will leave you guys my link the offer is 60 percent off your first box which is a really good discount and then for the next eight boxes 25 percent off so if you are new to hellofresh then give it a try and see if you like it. If you don't, obviously you're free to cancel it, but do use that offer, it's an amazing discount. And let me know as well, if you do use HelloFresh, let me know if you love it in the comments because we love it and we've used it for years. But let's look at the menu now of what we've sort of got 
what we've broken down because I find like around Christmas, sometimes I just want like a fresh fish dish or a salad -y dish because a lot of the meals are quite heavy. So I've tried to alternate it so it's not too much sort of heavy food. And obviously you've got the Christmas one in between there and then with that, with the leftovers and everything like that, there's always food over Christmas. But in between, sometimes I just want like a nice salad to go with the with the cold meats or something like a fish cake or something like that. So yeah, let me show you the plan that I've sorted out so far. Shout out to this little lady who's just basking in the sun. Oh, to be a cat, wouldn't that be so chill? <laughs> I'm gonna shut the blinds. <laughs> I've made a little bit of a plan, not a full menu as you can see, but just some ideas that we've had recently. So there'll be some uh, HelloFresh meals which we've had recently, like this one. It's just an easy meal to do, so super quick and easy. Something like this is great if we've got friends over, maybe we're having a little bit of a get together. It's like a Mexican evening. I just love Mexican food. This one was so good, we had this last night. And this one as well, which is like a street food one. So those nights where you want a takeaway, but you don't want to pay for a takeaway. In fact, an entire box for the week of HelloFresh is probably the cost of one takeaway. So, I mean, yeah, it definitely makes sense to do it for us anyway. So, I've done the quesadillas on one of the days and then the honey bacon burger and then honey halloumi is going to be a really nice one for if we want to what page is that two for one if we just want something like a little bit fresher like we don't want to be having a full meal this could also work for a breakfast as well look at this that looks so good, doesn't it? So it's those days where you've just sort of eaten a lot of stodgy, not fried, but you know, like roast potatoes. I, I just want something fresh. I don't know if you get that, or if that's just me. So that's one of the ideas that we're gonna get. So I need to add that to the list. Oh, messy meatball buns. Looking back at this um, recipe book, this is the Jamie Oliver five ingredients one. And I actually did a whole video on testing these recipes. It just brought back so many men me menus, memories. In fact, of the old house as well, which was a little bit, I don't know, it's like bittersweet really. But um, yeah, because I used to make this all the time, I was obsessed with this book. So I'm gonna make these, which are the messy meatball buns. Really easy to do, really delicious. A great crowd pleaser as well, because you can literally just make up a batch of meatballs and the sauce, and then just some rolls, and it's so easy to do, really, really quick. So I've got those. Uh, Christmas dinner, obviously, we talked about getting the HelloFresh box. And then Boxing Day, we do like a leftover baguette, which is all of the uh, sort of leftovers in a baguette with mayonnaise and cranberry sauce. And it is elite tier food. It's so good, so nice. So I've got that as well. And then I'm gonna look through actually and look at some of the uh, canapes that are in Aldi at the moment because we may well have some people over sort of in the break in between Christmas and New Year in Twixmas. So it's something like this, like they look so good. So maybe sort of an Asian fusion evening with lots of bits like that. And then I'm gonna make one of my favorite, which is cranberry, camembert and streaky bacon parcels in uh, puff pastry. Love those, they're really yummy. Um, I mean, you could buy them really. I don't know how much more expensive they would be to make because often it actually costs more money, but they do taste really good. And also stuffing. So I usually do, because I can't have stuffing because it's got onion in it normally if you buy it. So I get sausage meat and I put cranberry sauce in it and obviously salt and pepper and then I wrap it in streaky bacon and then I make little parcels and it is so delicious. And it means I can have it because it's not got onion and garlic in it. This time of year is not, oh actually it sort of looks a bit like that. If you can see that one there, that's got sausage meat. Obviously if you're a veggie then you won't be wanting that. Um, and this cauliflower cheese and Brussels sprout gratin I'm going to make myself. So often I can look at these 
recipes in here and then actually just make them myself. But they are a really good idea if you wanted to sort of feed a crowd and it just takes things like stuffing. It doesn't take really long, but it takes quite a while to cook and then that space in the oven that you can't cook anything else. So for us, we can just do them in the air fryer so much quicker and cheaper. So yeah, that's gonna give a little bit of a basis of our week before Christmas and then Christmas. And then I need to work on the week after Christmas, so that Twixmas area of the sorts of food that we want. I always find like I don't want anything too stodgy at that point. So probably more salads and fish cakes. Oh, I didn't say the fish cakes, did I? Oh yeah, quick Asian fish cakes. Those are in the five ingredients. I didn't write the, didn't write the page down. Quick Asian fish cakes. So yeah, it's just like halfway through the Christmas bit. I just want something fresh and fragrant and delicious. So yeah, that's some of the things that we're gonna do. Shall I show you our Christmas food box? Oh my God. So these are the sorts of things that we collect. So every time we do a shop, we just buy an extra thing and then it just spreads the cost. So we've got things like biscuits. We've got the Christmas. These are pigs and blankets, Christmas crisps and beef wellington, crinkle cut, love those. Uh, cheese, biscuits for cheese. And then these as well, because these are the best. Cheese biscuits are so good. Uh, this one you might remember I bought a couple of months ago in an Aldi shop with me. Uh, that's the sort of thing that you can buy now and it will last forever. Let's see what the date is. Not forever, but you know. Um, until June next year and I bought it in like October. And then we've got our special coffee. We've run out of the uh, Costa one. And this one's actually really nice. This one is the number three from Aldi. And it's this dark cocoa and caramel. It's just a really nice taste. Uh, obviously, these are not for Lara. These are Stuart's. He loves this. On a Sunday with a cup of coffee. Best before June. So yeah, they have ages left in too. And then we've got some chocolate chunk cookies. And then we've got the Heroes and Celebrations. So a tin of those. In fact, we've got a tin on the go downstairs as well in our Christmas bowl, which is actually just a bowl from the cupboard because we can find a Christmas bowl in the charity shop. Uh, Christmas cake, which as you know, Stuart will devour. And then this one I'm gonna try. It's a chocolate orange, I won't say the word, on YouTube. Uh, that's like my anti-Christmas pudding. And this one as well, Stuart's gonna try because we've got a family coming on Boxing Day, so he'll probably have that on Boxing Day. And then matchmakers. In fact, I bought some more matchmakers. I don't know where they are. I bought the, what flavor were they? I think they were salted caramel. And then the Christmas cake, yes, I've shown you that. So yes, we've got sort of a collection that we just will keep adding to until the big day, but it just means we don't have to buy it all in one shop. I never know the answer to this, but can Bailey's be stored not in the fridge once it's opened? Because we don't put ours in the fridge and um, I don't know if it goes off because it's like cream, isn't it? So yeah, maybe let me know if I should be doing that in the fridge. We've got some things that we've just been saving up really. So this wine is one that I has special memories for me when I was a lot younger and Stu always gets me a bottle as a little sort of Christmas treat. So it's always on offer around now in places that do good wine, like Tesco even, it's always on offer there. Uh, what else have we got? A Malbec. We try and get wines that mean something to us. Like I've been to Argentina, so a Malbec, a Mendoza, sort of wine region is always something that we like to get. Um, this one is a California one. So we've been to Napa and Sonoma and we like this sort of grape. So yeah, there's always something. So this is pretty full up now. Um, well, that one's actually just an Aldi special. Lots of them are Aldi. In fact, they've got loads of good wines in Aldi at the moment. And then we'll have like bottles like this. We've bought each other for like when I bought, when I won my Financial Influencer of the Year Award or when Stu passed a really big course that he was doing, we buy each other a celebratory bottle of champagne and then we never drink it because we're like, no, we want to keep it for a special occasion, even though that is a special occasion. So we've kept those uh, for Christmas basically. And then things like Prosecco, just for Bucks Fizz in the morning. Let me know what's your, if you drink, what's your sort of go-to drink of choice for Christmas morning because, or Christmas, like your first drink of the day, because I'm always into getting new ideas. Oh, it's a bit dark. We've suddenly got into Bailey's. We've never, I've always like not, not liked it, but Stu's never drunk it. And he's suddenly like, 
this is all right, isn't it? So I might try and look for some Bailey's cocktails. I definitely want to do some cocktails, so that's something a little bit different to try. Gin, we're a big fan on of here. But yeah, let me know your favorite foods, your favorite drinks, any recipes you've got, anything like that. I can confirm my candle smells of nothing. Like I literally, doing that, I can't even smell it. I can smell it a little bit, like piney. It smells a bit like pine, but hardly anything. So I think it was three pounds. You get what you pay for, really. Although having said that, Stu loves the uh, Airwick ones. I get them from Home Bargains and they are so, so scented. And they're only about two pounds. Anyway, so I'm gonna continue looking through my Christmas magazines and my recipe cards and just to try and make a bit of a Christmas food grocery shopping list. Um, there will be more Christmas planning videos here. Do let me know in the comments what type of Christmas planning you'd like me to do next for you guys. Uh, and yeah, if you want any more Christmas videos like this, don't forget your discount for the HelloFresh offer, which is an amazing 60% off your first box and eight boxes after that, 25% off. I'll leave you a link in the description bar at the top. So don't forget to check that one out. Let me know if you love them too. And uh, if you're gonna be trying the Christmas box, cause it does look amazing. Thank you to them for sponsoring and working with us this year. Thank you to all my brand partners and for you guys to sort of supporting me with my branded work this year. It really does mean the world to me. It just means I can continue doing all of my non-sponsored work as well over here and on Instagram, on TikTok and everywhere else that you can find me on my blog, laurajoannajarvis.com. There, I'm everywhere on every platform, but it does mean that branded sponsorships mean that I can do all of the other stuff for you guys. So thank you so much for supporting me, clicking the links, using my discount codes. Hopefully you got some good bargains this year. Anyway, I'm not gonna waffle on anymore. Thank you for being here and watching. Happy Christmas, and I'll see you in my next video.